Hey guys, what's going on? So today we are on the alpha server again, and they've actually changed something, adding a brand new huge update to the server. So they've completely reworked the entire accessory bag system and basically just how talismans work in general. And in today's video, we're just gonna be talking about how that works. And I'm gonna be giving you guys a brief explanation on how it works, because we're not sure about everything yet. Before we start, if you guys enjoy, make sure to leave a like and subscribe as it really does help me out. And we're on that grad for YouTube rank. And at 7K subs, I'm doing a giveaway in my Discord server down in the description. So make sure to go join that to enter. Anyways, let's get into it. All right, so let's just start here at the hub just so I can show you guys where you want to go to see all these changes. So you want to go right here past the bizarre alley. And then right here after the bizarre alley, you just kind of go right and you come over here. And this is the new kind of accessory building. So there are three NPCs. There's Maxwell, there's Jacobus, and there's Ozane. All right, so first, let me just explain how everything works and what's going on. So if we go over to Maxwell and we talk to him, a lot has changed. So here's what's happening. Talisman reforges no longer actually matter. This means that reforges don't give any stats. Now, this doesn't mean that talisman abilities don't work. They definitely do. So for example, our treasure artifact here still gives 3% chance for extra loot at the end of dungeon runs. But talismans now give a new stat based on their rarity. And this is magical power. So we click on Maxwell here and we go over to accessories breakdown. As you could see, it shows us how much magic power or magical power we're getting from each talisman. So as you could see, the mythics are giving us 418. The legendaries are giving us 176. Six. The epics are giving us 240. The rares are giving us 88. The uncommons are giving us 80. And the commons are giving us zero because I don't have any commons. And you can see how much each one gives you. So each mythic gives 22. Each legendary gives 16. Each epic gives 12. Each rare gives 8. Each uncommon gives 5. And each common gives 3. And obviously my hegemony is doubled because the hegemony perk has always been that the stats are doubled on the hegemony. So it becomes doubled. But now you guys may be wondering, well, what does magical power actually do? So there are now basically basically these accessory presets. So I'm just going to kind of scroll through them here as slowly as possible and you guys can kind of take a look at them. Sorry if it's a little bit shaky, but basically they just give you stats and these are like presets. Now let me just quickly give my opinion on this by saying that this kind of is a trash update because there's really no customizability. These are the presets you have and these are what you work with. Now you do have a little bit of an option for customizability and it's called stats tuning. So every 10 magic power you get one tuning point. So I have 1,024 magical power and that gives me 102 tuning points. Now you could buy presets over here with bits and it costs 30k bits per preset and it's very cool. You kind of just click on the templates. All of these work per point. So one point equals the stats that it gives. So for one point, you get five health. For one point, you get one defense. For one point, you get 1.5 speed. For one point, you get one strength. For one point, you get what crit damage. For one point, you get 0.2 crit chance. For one point, you get 0.2 attack speed. And for one point, you get two intelligence. Now again, on this on its own, that's pretty trash. You have to think about it. There are a limit of points, and I basically have the max amount of points almost, at least not considering any new talismans. The only talisman I'm missing is the bingo ring. So I'm just going to quickly show you guys how to save stuff. Let's say I click on strength, and you have to right click, and as you can see, now I'm getting more strength. And then if I just want to save this to my template, I literally click save. And as you can see now, I have my template. This is my 16th strength template. So I can always click load and it'll load this template, which is a pretty cool system. Now there's another really, really huge feature. So remember how I said you get these save presets? Well, there are actually other presets that you get from accessory reforged stones. Accessory reforged. Accessory reforged. So over here, it says learn from power stones. And basically, it's quite pretty simple. So there's this power stone guide. And if you just click from here on power stone guide, you could see them all. And in total, there are 17 different power stones. Some of these use old accessories. So for example, the rock candy, and you can see its stats on screen now. You have the silky, which is the luxurious school, spool reforge, and you can again see the stats on screen now. You have the dark orb, which was the shaded reforge, and you can see the stats on screen now. And that's literally it for all the old ones. But now let's quickly cover the new ones. Okay, so first off, we don't really know what all these stones actually do because we haven't actually unlocked these yet. Oh yeah, and these also have a combat level requirement to apply, but these aren't really high. The highest one's 35. So the first one is Scorching. Now you obtain this from the Infernal Demon Lord boss, which is basically the new Blaze Slayer. And as you can see, the minimum tier that you get this from is tier twos, and it is quite common. It's a 5% chance. The next one is Healthy. You get this from Healthy Mobs in Dungeons, which is again, pretty common, and you get the Vitamin Death. Again, I have no clue what this does. The next one is Slender. The Power Stone is the Hazmat Enderman, and it drops from the Void Bloom bosses. My buddy the Iniquitous actually got this, and here are the stats on it. 
The next one is strong. You get this from the Mantra Power Stone, which is obtained from the Kudra at the burning tier above. At the top of my head, I think that's the third tier and above, I'm pretty sure. And again, we haven't got this yet, so we have no clue what this does. The next is Bizarre. You get this from the Eccentric Painting. And this is actually sold in the Dark Auction by Cyrus. And again, we have no clue what this does. The next one is Demonic. You get this from the Horns of Torment, which is unlocked from Mutton Collection 9. And as you can see, here's the crafting recipe on screen now. The next one is Hurtful. You get this from the Magma Urchin, which is dropped from mini bosses in the Crimson Isle. So I'm assuming you get these from the more common mini bosses like the Blade Soul and other mini bosses like that. And again, we don't know what this does. The next one is Pleasant. You get this from the Precious Pearl, which is a very rare drop from doing Crystal Nucleus runs. And once again, we don't know what this is. The next one is a debt. You get this from the Endstone Shulker, and you get these from the Glowing Blocks and the Endstone. And you get these from the Glowing Blocks and the End, just those blocks that you mine. So the next one is Bloody. We already went over this. You get this from the Beating Heart, which is just from Dungeons, and this is very old. The next one is Forceful. You get this from the Acacia Birdhouse, which is unlocked in Acacia Collection 8. And here's how you craft it. The next one is Itchy. We get this from the Furball Power Stone, and it drops from the Sven Packmaster boss, and someone's already actually gotten it. This isn't too rare of a drop. I believe it's an extraordinary drop. The next one is Mythical, and you get it from Obsidian Collection 9, and the Power Stone is the Obsidian Tablet. And again, here's the crafting recipe on screen now. And finally, there's the Sighted, and you get this from the Ender Monocle, which drops from Watchers in the end. These are actually extremely common, and my friend actually managed to find and get all these, so you can see the stats on screen now. Now, keep in mind that you actually need 9 of each stone in order to learn the power. So, as you can see here, there are 9 slots, and you put each 9 stones in here, and then you click here, and you learn the power. And the powers just end up going right up here. Alright, so that's everything for the accessories. But there's also this guy here, Jacobus. Now, he gives you access to your accessory bag, and he also lets you upgrade it. I don't have a clip, but the base starts at 5 mil, I believe, and it goes up to 20 mil. And you can literally just keep upgrading this, and it actually maxes out once you get to 198 slots. Now, no one on their right mind needs 198 slots, but it's really nice for the upgradability. Another thing to mention with Jacobus is that after a certain amount of upgrades, I believe it's only like 5 or 6 upgrades, he actually gives you a legendary talisman. So here's the talisman that he gives you, the Jacobus Register, and it just gives 10 health and 1 pet luck, and it's legendary, and I recombobulated it. So yeah, very simple, you could just upgrade the slot, and it is quite costly, but it's kind of cool. And finally, there's Ozane. So all Ozane does is basically lets you sell your reforges on your accessories. It gives like literally no money and it caps out at 5 mil. And it's basically just a transition into this update because everyone has reforges on their accessories. So people can just sell those off so that as you can see, I did it and there's no more reforges on any of my accessories because you don't really need them. Oh yeah, also I can't forget to mention the stats actually scale with your magical power, obviously. So as you can see right now, the commando is giving me 263 strength and I have myself 1024 magical power. Now let's say I take a bunch of accessories out of my accessory bag. And by the way, your accessories actually have to be in your accessory bag. They don't count if you're in your inventory. So let's say I have all these here and now I click on it. As you can see, I have half the magical power and so I'm getting way less strength. Now I'm getting only 175 strength. So yeah, just keep in mind that there is scaling with your magical power, obviously. But yeah, that's basically the new Reforge update. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comments. Honestly, I think this is a really trash update and they're kind of ruining the game by doing this. They're taking away all sorts of customizability that you had before. So for example, before, if I wanted to have a certain amount of strength and a certain amount of attack speed and a certain amount of crit damage, I would just make certain talismans give attack speed and certain talismans give strength and certain talismans give crit damage. But now you really can't do that. You're kind of just soft locked to these presets. And the sad thing is the presets are kind of shitty too. You don't really get anything good from them. But yeah, that's just my opinion on the update. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe as it really does help me out. And I'll catch you guys later.